Hey guys, it's your Getty here. I just want to thank you guys so much for 2.6K. We are literally almost at 2.7 now. We just hit 2.6 yesterday. I just want to thank you guys so much for the support. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment if you guys do enjoy this video. Without further ado, enjoy the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to yet another beautiful Jigetti video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys some of my clips and I'm going to be analyzing them to show you guys five ways on how you can dominate on controller. So by looking at this clip, you can obviously tell that I'm playing a 1v1 realistic as I get a quick tag off the guy, you can see that I place a ramp immediately. And then I place a pyramid, and then I place a floor, edit down, edit the wall, and come down right next to his wall to where he is boxed up. Soon, I just wait there for a little bit, pull out my gun, see if he's going to edit, and when he doesn't, I edit the pyramid, and I place walls around so if he tries to peace control me, he cannot. Then I jump up to making sure he can't place a cone or a pyramid or a floor above me. And then I try to break his wall and he doesn't. So I come around to his other side and I peace control just in case he comes out right there. Turns out he didn't. So I came back right into the box. And then I wanted to play a little mind game with him. So I shot the wall. acted like I was going to break it and I didn't. And I switched between my guns to see if he would edit once again. But he did not, so I did a little trick that Hazard does in his videos, and that he flanks the people out, and then, you see I caught him off guard right there, so I broke the wall, slowed the wall, and next I was heading right for his ramp, so I broke his ramp, and I claimed it as mine, and then I hit a Mongrel class and hit him for a nice 119 to the forehead, completing the kill. So what I wanted you guys to learn from this clip is to analyze your situation so you won't put yourself in a tougher situation, and to also play your opponent through to see his weaknesses so you can use it against him. As you guys can see that I determined this kid's weakness was being confused. As I was circling around his box, he didn't know where I was, which led him to his fatal fate. Another way is by straight up abusing your aim assist. I don't know why Fortnite gave us this setting, but it is literally the most overpowered thing in the game. All you have to do is just move your crosshair at least like one feet away from them and it will automatically aim for a headshot. If you do not have this feature on, you need to turn it on immediately. It will help you improve so much. Most pro players do use this and that's how they're able to hit headshots and crazy insane AR aim. All right guys, and last and final way is by using an application called Anti-Micro. And I mentioned this so much guys, and a lot of you guys say, oh, I don't know how to use it. Oh, it's not working for me. Um, I wanna learn how to use it a little bit more. Can you teach us some more tips and tricks on it? Be like, what is Anti-Micro? That's what a lot of you guys are asking. So Anti-Micro is an application that gives you basically zero input delay for your controller. No, this is not sponsored by it. And I do mention it a lot because I'm trying to help y'all improve on the game. And I'm trying to use every possible advantage that I know personally to help you guys improve. So this is an application that I use. Don't fidget around with it too much. I'm going to show you guys how to set it up. Uh, don't fidget around too much because you can enable some settings that will give you macros or will give you ban. A lot of people get that confused. They're like, oh, you can't get banned by using this. I know you can't get banned by using it, but some settings that you turn on can get you banned. Uh, because it is uh, considered cheating in the game. So what you guys want to do in order to get the zero input delay on all your buttons is let's say um, you want uh, X to have zero input delay. So what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and click this turbo button right here. Boom, that automatically puts the turbo on. And then you want to come right here to turbo and then it's already enabled. So you just want to slide this down to um, uh, 0 0.02 seconds, which is going to make it instant. Like right when you press it, it's going to automatically place it and or whatever it's set to it's going to automatically edit or whatever you have that set to uh and then you can do this for every single button in the row and then once you get done all of these should have zero input delay same with the triggers but the triggers is a little bit different it's going to pop up to this menu if you guys want um the best like zero input delay triggers uh i suggest that you copy mines right here i believe both of them are the exact same so just copy this so it's negative half throttle for both of them and then uh 32,000 32,000 so if you guys want to copy that and then that's basically it guys uh you cannot close this tab when you're trying to use it if you close it it will delete literally everything so what you guys want to go ahead and do is just save this you can save it under a random thing i just i just named it like gang so uh you can save it right here and then uh yeah just have it open as you're playing the game because if you exit out it'll delete everything so yeah that's going to be it for the anti-micro part Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, comment, and if you guys want more future videos, just comment that down below. Thanks. Have a great rest of your day.